Okay, so we're now doing our rebreathing system uh, off ski. So this one is slightly different from the ones we used to before. So we are going to do our safety check, assemble system, and use the chart provided. I don't have a chart at the moment. The chart will be um, body weight on one left of the column and then a pre-calculated dose on the other one. So you just choose as appropriate for your patient. The patient in this scenario is 40 kilograms. So um, for health and safety reasons, I'm not going to fill up the fluorosorba, um, fluorosorba the um, soda lime in this one because it's actual soda lime but you will have a, a cat core or equivalent of plastic to then be used to fill the circle. So you will obviously place your appropriate PPE, so a pair of gloves, apron as applicable, and of course your mask to uh, put the soda lime into the circle itself. So um, those of you who are not familiar, this is our circle circuit. You're placing it into the cap at the back, giving it a good shape, tapping it around to get it flat, and you want to fill it as much as feasibly possible. So practicing this one with a cat core or something equivalent, or indeed just doing it in your own practice once a month, is best practice and then get used to doing it. So as part of this one, we'll assume that we have already done the filling up process. So gloves on, apron on, and of course your mask. You then remove those and place those in clinical waste. So those do not um, need to uh, be left on once they're in and it's sealed, you can take them off again. And then it follows the same principles. So with our anaesthetic circuit, you will have a floor absorber, that means to be below the level of the patient. Attach your scavenging, ours is an active system, so I'm just gonna attach that one now. And our oxygen is piped, so you turn on your cylinder using the ratchet and place the in-use sign on. Then we construct the circuit, so we pop our circle circuit on to the outlet. Then our tubing, outlet, and then our scavenging onto here. APL valve is up here. So we will suppress that one, and we can of course choose our APL valve. Then we are turning our flow meter up, checking that this is the case we do its bobbin so it should spin and checking that this flow meter doesn't drop and also making sure that the oxygen flush works so flush that one and I'm happy that's open and full so I will open my APL valve first turn off my oxygen flow meter I'm happy that didn't drop so there's no leak in the circuit empty the bag and then remove my thumb from the circuit so that circuit is ready to use and as I said you will have a chart in front of you with body weights to the left flow rates to the right you choose 40 kilos the appropriate flow rate um, and then you then need to set that on the unsetting machine so you will turn for example if it's four you would then turn your flow meter up to four and advise the examiner that you have completed the task so slightly different steps but that essentially is your um, circle and rebreathing system.